everybody welcome back to the channel big uh, hello and um, thank you for the new subscribers who uh, subscribed and uh, for something I can do in a video for you let me know I'm just doing a quick video here um, there's not a lot to show and I don't know how it's going to come out uh, but I'm going to try and film my computer setup uh, for these 1990 or 9, 2001 90 Fitch Ram Evan Roots. Um, I hooked up the diagnostic uh, cord and, and hooked it all up to my laptop and ran the diagnosis and the diagnostics breakdown on the computer and the program. And uh, um, I was I wasn't expecting many faults on the engine because the engine runs actually pretty good, but I did get one fault code and. Uh, it was no surprise um, as to what it was. So I'm going to try and I'm, I'm videoing the laptop <laughs> basically with a towel on my head because it's so bright. Uh, well, it's not that bright, but I just from the glare, I can't, I can't, I was unable to get a picture of it in the open air. It was just too much glare. I couldn't even read it with the naked eye. So you, you are not going to be able to read it. But uh, so I'm going to film a little bit of it, show you what I got, and uh, and we'll go from there. So um, let's see what we got. Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but it shows that on 5.9, 218 and 419 I acquired the engine on the computer serial number 4912611 on this engine your hours are 292 and 49 minutes um, braking hours complete maximum speed for this would be 6100 your engine max temp is 102 but that's because I'm force feeding it with a hose your EMM maximum temperature is 42.4 degrees um, your model number is a E90 FSLSIF serial number 4912611 um, the last time this was hooked was according to this never uh, me um, so let's look at your faults over here. I'm going to faults. Okay, right here, number 37. Your code for this fault is 37. Water and fuel detected. Down here for the fault circuits, selected fault information. Water and fuel detected. Sys check engine. Um, that's your system check icon. That's the light and everything you're getting. Your output volts at idle are 5 volts. Infinite resistance, blah, blah, nothing there. Then it says comments info. It says pink slant bar green wire. EMM J1 pin number 23. Black wire, main wire harness ground negative. I don't know what that's there for, but that's on the fault information. And that's all the fault information I'm getting. So that seems to be the only problem with the motor. Um, all right. Currently, as you can see, I'm at idle. Your engine speed RPM, 640, 688. So we're idling there. TPS volt 72, system volts 37.19. Battery volts 13 point, or excuse me, battery volts 14.32. Barometric pressure, your barometric pressure 30 point something. Exhaust 220. Inlet air temperature 68. EMM temperature 66.2. Um, engine temp is 163.4. These are your minimum and maximums it gives, and basically, um, yeah, you're looking at the minimum temperature and the maximum temperature that this thing is recording. So something in here is 87 point, I'm looking at the very bottom line, it's 87.8 degrees, 
and the high temperature is 163.4. Um, here's all your information. Hopefully you can see this. Oil frequency cycle 3.1, start of fuel 37, fuel duration 6.52, ignition delay. Everything's looking really good on it. Um, and so that's your, your engine running in a, nut, a nutshell. I've had it running for 18 minutes. Again, your engine hours, 292, and monitor time in minutes is a 508, or maybe that's seconds, I'm not sure what that even means. Um, let's see, if I wanted to do a report, uh, that just gives me the name. Here's a series of tests that I can run on it. Fuel injector test, and it, I can check all the fuel injectors. Ignition test, I can te test all the different ignition components. Um, fuel pump and oil injectors. I'm not though, because the only pr uh, fault I'm getting The only fault I'm getting is the water and fuel. So that's it. So anyway, hopefully that was readable. Okay, here's where you hook up the diagnostic control cable that goes up to my laptop. Um, I know the video is not going to be, you know, probably too good because I had to use a towel over my head <laughs> to get the sun glare off so I could read the, the faults and so forth. And so what we've got going on with the engine is basically some contaminated fuel. Um, I've talked with the owner. He's not sure what he wants to do. And so he's going to come over and look at it a little bit. That's the only fault I got, number 37, uh, contaminated fuel, water in the fuel. Engine really actually runs really good. Um, so I'm all hooked up to my diagnostic software. I've got the readings. Um, I didn't do the individual tests that I can do. One, they're, they're a little bit time consuming. And two, uh, I would get a fault code if I needed to do those, and I'm not. The history looks good, the hours look good, um, and I'm getting no other alarms but that one. So. Um, there, there we go on the Fitch Ram 90 horsepower 2001. So, let me turn down some copyright stuff. All right. Do, 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 do. So, I got the old manual out and, uh, I got her hooked up, and uh, did some other maintenance, indexed the plugs on her and a few other things, but we'll have to address the fuel, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so that's kind of a wrap on that little vid. I mean, I just did it. Um, there may, may be folks out there who uh, wanted to just know how this software, you know, kind of looks and how, how you hook up to it and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's, it's really no different than an EMM um, engine maintenance module or I've heard them called everything, engine monitoring <laughs> uh, modules or whatever. It's, it's no different than on, on a car or truck. Uh, you have generally on any newer vehicle, you have a place to plug in your code reader. Essentially, that's, that's what this is. It gives you the codes, then you go to the manuals, you take the codes, 
and between the computer and the manual you'll generally be able to uh, to hopefully get the engine going again but uh, this was just a very basic quick uh, uh, quick hookup to one of these. Um, I don't have a lot of the E-Tech Fitch systems in, in my area. Um, probably a, probably less than a dozen. Um, but the software um, and the system has worked for me on a couple of occasions where I've uh, been able to help people out and, and uh, reset their engine, find the, the faulty code and tell them exactly or I would buy it exactly the part that I needed. And, and in that essence, um, I guess it's good. You, you know, when you get these engines that have all these sensors and all these monitors and safety interlocks in them, when you get an engine like that, you don't want to do like you do old school. Well, if this coil won't work, swap it with the other one and, and see if that works. Not a good idea to do that on these kind of engines. These things are high pressure fuel injected. They've got a lot of specific systems and you need that software. You need that manual or you at least need somebody to take it to that has those things. You don't want to get out there and treat those motors um, like like the Norseman. <laughs> not, to, not the same deal. So um, I buy... Uh, by no means claim to be an, an expert with computers and software and stuff like that, but I, I think for the most part it's it's kind of uh, for even somebody who's trained in the old school style of, of working on outboards and, and does a lot more of that than this newer stuff, because I have worked on my own cars and stuff with the little code readers. I, I have one right there for uh, my current vehicles, and they're it's a lot of the same stuff really. It's it, it'll. You know, when things get a little complicated, you kind of need, uh, you know, some ready access memory to help you out, and, and it will. So, um, if you don't have this stuff, um, but you know somebody, you know, that works on them, it's better to, to get a good reading, and they won't charge you that much just for a reading. So, um, hope it wasn't too boring and stuff, but uh, that's the basics of it. So, thanks for watching.